So since it's Tuesday, I wanted to do a, a comic book related video. Now, I was thinking about what kind of comic book uh, video I wanted to upload today, and I did have a couple ideas which we're not going to do right now. We won't, get, won't, we won't get down to doing them down the line in the future, but not right now. I won't even hint though about one, what one of those video ideas was. One of the videos that we're going to get down to doing in the future is Top 5 Wants from All Phase 3. So, we're going to do that at some point in, down, down the line, but we're not today. Today we're actually doing a video on something big that just recently happened in the comics. And since every comic book fan out there has reported on it besides me, I've got to give my two cents about it. Anyway, so yes, last week on May 25th, the first issue of Steve Rogers' Captain America was released. Now, if you don't know what went on in the comic book worlds recently, let me explain this quickly. So, back in 2014, was it 2014? Yeah, 2014, Sam Wilson, aka The Falcon, became Captain America. Why? Well, basically, someone took the Super Soldier formula out of Steve Rogers. I don't know who, because I don't read the Captain America comics right now. So, yeah, but someone took the Super Soldier formula out of him. And, of course, since it, it turned him into an old man, because Super Soldier formula stops him from aging. And without the Super Soldier formula now, without it now, he looks like Clint Eastwood right now. I mean, look, Clint Eastwood's like 86, like, my god. And he now works for S.H.I.E.L.D. I think he's like, I don't, I don't think he's the director of S.H.I.E.L.D. Like, I think he was. I think he's like some kind of commander of S.H.I.E.L.D. Something like that, I don't know. And he passed the mantle on to Sam Wilson from the Falcon. Why he didn't pass it on to Bucky? Well, probably out of two reasons. One, because uh, they've already done that. Two, Bucky was doing some other weird things that would prevent him. Whatever, so, yeah. But now Cap just recently got back the Super Soldier formula, and it's now Captain America again. But not the main Captain America. Sam is still the main Captain America. He's still another Captain America out there. But he, doesn't, he has a new costume and doesn't have the vibrating shield anymore. He has like, this new shield that looks similar to his original shield, yeah, but I think it's much stronger. But it's like still not. It's not made out of vibranium, but I think it's more durable. I guess I don't, I don't know. Because uh, like I said, Sam's still the main Captain America, so he keeps the vibrating shield. So yeah. But this shocking thing happened in the book that what well, I think was dubbed the most shocking moment in comic history in a while. Which is a lot to say from what happens in the book. And the book really just goes by, like, a simple story. Like, it's towards Captain America fighting the Red Skull. Like, like big old overarching plot. Love story with Sharon Carter, a.k.a. Agent 13. Simple, okay? That's what you got. Seems like an awesome, generic Captain America story, yes? But then by the end of the book, he says something that will change the way people think of Captain America for a while now. So apparently, what we learn is that Steve Rogers has been a member of HYDRA since the very start of his career. Like, since he was given the Super Soldier formula, he has been a member of HYDRA. Which immediately made people rip that comic in half and say, we're no longer gonna read this comic, only after one issue and probably never read Marvel again. So, yes. Of course, this is a big thing. A humongous thing that happened. Why wouldn't it be like so? I'm liking Aqua But of course, as you sh as you would probably assume, the internet flipped their shits. Like, every news outlet on on the internet reported on this, every comic book YouTuber reported on this, a bunch of celebrities have reported on it, and even CNN reported on, on this. Like, I don't know, I could be wrong with that, I don't know, but I forget. This is a big thing. Like, I, Captain America is Hydra now, and has always has been, is a big WTF and Middle finger to all us fans, like, you like Captain America? Well, here you go, he even hijacked for the last 70 plus years. Heh <laughs> heh. The reason why this they decided to do this, we have no idea. But yeah, like I said, everyone's reporting on this because it's such a big thing. Like, a lot of people don't like it. I think almost everyone on the planet does not like this little change here. Like, in fact, even Chris Evans himself, who plays Captain America in the MCU, doesn't like this. Like, he tweeted out on his Twitter her saying, Hydra, question mark, hashtag, say it ain't so. Which is amazing, not only amazing, crazy, that also the actor himself who plays Captain America right now is shocked by this turn of events right now. So, Marvel, you just surprised the actor himself as well. And also, there's this, like, funny little meme I'm gonna show you right now. There's no reason behind it for this video, but I just want to show you it, it's like, genius. It's genius. Whoever made that, it's genius. Genius. Now, what's my thought exactly on this Hail Hydra thing now? 
like, of course, like a lot of people, I don't like it. This is a very disservice to the character. I asked their creator, to his creator, the Catmere's creator, you know, was Jewish. And turning his creation into a member of a Nazi organization is a real screw you to the creator, who's also dead right now. Like, they're probably like, ooh, this guy's dead. He won't know what we're going to do to his character. We're going to turn him into a Nazi. Oh, that will get him going. That will really get him going. Yeah, think about that for a second. Let that stick into your brain for a second. Look, I'm not going to lie. I don't like this either. Like, it's very odd. I'm like, there's a million other ways you could have had a twist ending in this book. And this is the one you decided to go with. Him announcing himself as a member of Hydra is super weird. It just makes no sense. Like, seriously. And like, don't worry, also for all you Marvel Cinematic Universe fans, this is not going to happen in the movies, I'll tell you that right now, it's not going to happen in the movies. And it's not going to stay permanent in the comic either. You want to know why? Because nothing ever stays permanent in the comics. I mean, like, really think about that for a second. Dick Grayson and Jim Gordon both became Batman. Dick Grayson became Batman only maybe about five years ago or four years ago, whatever. That didn't last long. And Jim Gordon recently became Batman in the comics back in 2015 to 2016. That didn't last long either. Peter Parker dying after switching body with Doc Ock. Peter is now with Doc Ock's body, which had cancer, and so he died. That didn't last long either. Superman being depowered in the comics and not so long ago. That didn't last long either. Green Lantern being this big killer Green Lantern, like who killed all the Green Lanterns, that didn't, that didn't last long either. Look, nothing in comics ever really stays permanent. So I tell you this right now, this is not going to stay permanent. And still are probably not real. This is probably not mind control by the Red Skull, because in the book you have to remember that. So maybe something happened, I don't know. Just you need to know, this won't stay permanent, and it's more like some kind of mind control. I don't know, okay? So yes. But yeah, that's my real opinion on that. Just it won't stay permanent. Don't get eh, crazy about it. But we can still get crazy about how stupid this is. Like just you you can go on Google right now and search up Captain America Hydra memes, and you'll probably, you'll find like a lot of amazing and funny memes out there about him being a Hydra now. But yeah, thank you all for watching this video. Thank you for more videos soon on the way to the channel, and I'll catch you guys all, all later. Bye.